What's going on, everyone? Welcome to a new episode of Mostly Wrong Opinions. I am Tyrone. That is Devin. Wait! Before you sell your soul to the devil, what are you doing, idiot? <laughs> hit, that, hit that subscribe button right down there, all right? Who needs a soul? That's what she said. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> One of my favorite films uh, from the early, uh, late 90s, early 2000s, Brandon Fraser, Elizabeth Hurley. It is bedazzled. Elliot Richards needs a life. You're the man, Elliot. It's all about first impression. Go over there, say hello. <laughs> but most of all, he wants Allison. This Hi. was based off a 1967 film. <laughs> okay, there was the same name, the same concept. I didn't see that 1967 film. Me neither. But, but... I think I want to. <laughs> I think I want to just just to see the the comparisons of it. But th it follows the story of the main character. Brandon Fraser plays a guy named Elliot, and Elliot is down on his luck. He's 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 awkward. He is not social that much to people. But he but he has this girl that's in his office that he really wants to talk to, and and he just don't know how to talk to her. But he's like, I give anything. I give anything for that woman to be in my life. What do you know? <laughs> the devil comes along and mm -hmm. tries to grant that wish, and the devil is in the form of Elizabeth Hurley. Dang, she was fine back then. Is that a problem? You're not attracted to me. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Elizabeth Hurley is the devil. She's always wearing red, and she's very charismatic and funny. Mm -hmm. And yeah, yeah, so she she finds Brian Fraser, who's down as luck. And she gives him seven wishes. Why seven? Why not eight? Why not six? Seven <laughs> feels right. So he gives, gives him seven wishes in exchange for his soul. What? Are you kidding? I have to give you my soul? After you've had your wishes, of course. I can't give you my soul. What are you, James Brown? What's the big deal? Have you ever seen your soul? Do you even know what it is? And so the movie kind of works like, I, I kind of felt like, and I know you like this movie a lot, but I kind of felt like this was like a really long, like, Key and Peel episode, where it's like, yeah, where they they they're, yeah. they're, they're wearing different wigs and they do go on these different like little <laughs> adventures that don't really uh, cross into one another. And so the first one, he's like, I wish I were rich and powerful, and she was my wife. And boom, he's a Colombian dr drug lord. Now and the first so, wish was a, a Big Mac and Coke. Well, that's the twist, right? The twist at <laughs> the end is that the devil is not. But even then, I'm like, oh, well, he didn't sign the contract at that point. So how is that even his first wish? That was my ah, that was my thought. I was like, he's not going to bring up the fact that he signed a contract afterwards? She hadn't even really explained the whole mm. spiel yet. So how is that really? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Although yeah. I think in the background, apparently there was another wish that got cut because they thought it was too... It was too risky. It was too like risque, and I guess it, it cursed Ooh. a lot of it. So maybe, maybe that big Mac and Coke thing is something they added on later. I don't know. I don't care because it worked out pretty well in the film. But uh, supposedly this this extra wish you can see like in the DVD extras. I got the DVD right here. I mean, uh, okay. check it out. <laughs> but uh, yep. Yeah, so he's like, oh, I want to be strong and powerful. So now he's a Colombian drug lord then he's like oh i wish i were athletic now he's a basketball player and he says oh i wish i were the president now he's freaking abraham lincoln mm. so <laughs> brendan fraser bounces from all these different kind of scenarios none of which interact with one another but to me that's kind of okay because i think this showed off uh why brendan fraser was so popular back then because yeah. brendan fraser not only is he like a, a like a genuinely like good looking guy but i think he's really funny and he's got like a lot of range. Like he played like a, like nine different characters in this film, and he played them. Uh, at least I thought to be like really funny. This this film has a nice spot of nostalgia in my in my mm. mind because not only do I like it because of the comedy, I like it because of the message on how to be a good person. By the end of the film, he he realizes that this. These wishes doesn't they don't make me. <laughs> okay. <Right. laughs> you know, and, and I'm 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 a better person without these wishes because I focus on the things that that, that uh the good things that, that that life has to offer. That's what makes you who you are. <laughs> you right. Know? That 
little message I could see coming from my way, obviously. This wasn't, it's not like a Twitch or something like that. So I, thought, and I, I did think that was a really good message. But I feel like there's another message that the movie didn't quite get that I thought was coming, but it didn't happen. So all of his wishes involve him being with this girl from his office, right? Mm -hmm. And either him, he's either, she's either in love with him or uh, she's married to him or something like that. And I thought the movie would move to like, yeah, like maybe she's just like her own person. You, you know what I mean? Like, like, <laughs> like with her own life that's like separate from you. I thought that would be like the, the lesson he would learn. But instead, um, he's like, oh, I guess I'll just never have her. And then literally a woman, a woman at the end who looks just like the girl from his office is like rewarded to him in the end. So I was like, ah, you missed an opportunity there. But <laughs> the movie, the movie isn't really focused on even that even that lesson that you're talking about the movie isn't really focused on like giving lessons or something like that it's mostly focused on the humor and elizabeth hurley's outfits and all that stuff works just fine and some of that humor boy i find because this is i thought i saw this movie but i, I hadn't this is the first time i'd seen it and so i i found a lot of the humor to be uh, a bit dated uh again while funny with brendan fraser there but dated because Brendan Fraser is literally in, in brown face in this, in this film. And I'm like, oh, and after, after the movie started, yo, he's like in brown fa face and speaking Spanish. He's got a thick mustache that he tears off halfway. And I'm like, oh, and he's like, a, he's like dealing cocaine. I'm like, oh, I, I, I don't like, I don't like making fun of people for like their ethnicity. I don't find that. I don't find that funny. I've never found that funny. I don't think that's PC. I just think, I just don't think that's funny. Like that's not, that's not humor. For me, I don't know. you gotta you gotta be the only way it's funny is if you're not that race, right? If you are that race, you'd be like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> so, so it's like, why is it so exclusionary? But that part, you say the like, same thing about Tropic Thunder. But see, in Tropic Thunder, and so and some people do try to conflate it like that because it, 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 the whole point of his character was saying that it was bad. Yeah, the point was this is wrong, right? This mm. is this is wrong, and he is too stupid to figure it out. <laughs> and, and literally everyone around him is like. This no. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. What do you mean, you people? What do you mean, you people? There's literally a white guy uh, having cocaine withdrawals, being like, "You shouldn't do that." <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, but like the, the point, the point of it wasn't that he was in blackface. The point of the point of it was that he was too stupid to realize what he was doing was wrong. <laughs> this movie assumes you'll think this is hilarious, right? Aha! Don't you think that's funny? And I'm like, oh, I don't. <laughs> Let's move on from this way. I kind of, I kind of, I kind of had a feeling you was gonna say that. Though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at him out like, of all, out of all the all the um, the wishes that he had. Yeah, the first I one felt like that was gonna be it. I thought that was rough, but like I said, this does kind of feel like an episode of Key and Peele where that is not the movie. Thank God he he leaves that wish and goes to another wish, so he doesn't stay that way and. There are other opportunities where the movie could have totally gone down that same avenue where he says, oh, I want to be a basketball player. And they're like, oh, you can be like Michael Jordan. And I was like, not, not the blackface, please. Not the so blackface. Don't you do it. Yeah. They didn't. They, they didn't, didn't do it. it. So that means they knew brownface was wrong, right? They knew that shit was wrong because they wouldn't do it for blackface. So why'd they do it for brown? Like, what the? Anyway, doesn't matter. The, that, that kind of stuff I found to be dated and it knocked off some points for me. But I did have a good time watching this film, and it's it's a it's a comedy. I think we can probably count the amount of comedies we, we've reviewed on this channel on one hand. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's probably about like four, maybe if that. Elliot ends up in jail by the end of this, and then um, he meets a person, a person who was trying to spit him game about you know the soul, <laughs> you know, and that line stuck with me ever since I was a kid. And, it, you know, he, he basically said that, um, you know, you can't sell your soul anyway. And Elliot was like, why? He's like, it don't belong to you. Who does it belong to? It belongs to God. I was like, bar. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, bar. That's a bar. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Doesn't really matter, though. Can't sell your soul anyway. Oh, really? Why do you say that? It doesn't really belong to you in the first place. Because I, 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 I'm not the most religious person or anything. I'm spiritual, and I believe that that is a fact. <laughs> mm. Yeah, so. yeah. Uh, him finding God in, in prison, because at the end of the film, the devil is trying to force him to use his last 
to waste his last wish. What? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that she can just have his soul. Uh, but he doesn't. And I feel like the movie is, is, is interesting there, too, because it seems like the devil and God are working together. You know, you'd think that meeting the devil would be interesting enough, but no. All people want to know about is him. Like, he's so bloody fascinating. Because we see, we see the devil and God playing chess in the background. You know, they, 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 they seem kind of buddy-buddy. So I'm like, oh, okay, I guess this is just kind of a, a game. But the movie, yeah, the movie sends Brendan Fraser on all these different adventures all around the world where he becomes all these different people. And so, and some, and, and there's always, a, there's always like a catch. I think it's all about things that, things that age hard. Like, so one, one, one of his wishes, he was like, oh, I wish I was smart and charismatic <laughs> and good looking. Oh, and man. He, 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 he gets it all, uh, but he's gay. What the hell is going on, Mary? Who are you? Don't play games with me, Mr. Richards. I'm in no mood. And this was just too much. He was like, nope. Evergreen at the top. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ooh, that's rough. Like, but Elliot himself is not gay. <laughs> yeah, well, actually, he was when and, and did the wish. He was like, I'll prove to you I'm not gay. I'll kiss you. So he kisses this girl, <laughs> and he's like, damn, I didn't like it. I'm gay. Um, no, thanks for dropping by. <laughs> like, I'm gay. <laughs> <You know? laughs> that was kind of funny. But, yeah, so it's, I feel like a lot of the humor uh, aged, aged hard. I just like the film because of the simple message that it has, Brandon Fraser being very versatile and uh, Elizabeth Hurley a little fine ass. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I like it. Yeah. So uh, I thought it was I thought it was a good movie. I, I actually I, I did enjoy it, despite yeah. some of the, uh, the old <laughs> the old dusty jokes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> gotta give it hundred ten percent. He's like he's like he's like drenched in sweat. <laughs> you know, there's no I. In team. <laughs> <laughs> Saying a bunch of word salad garbage. Yeah. Mm. Uh, he had a little winky. <laughs> yeah, a little winky. Oh, man. Some, some good stuff in this film. So let's get to the rating of Bedazzle. Um, I like the concept. I love the concept. Held Ramis, God rest his soul. Mm -hmm. Egon, he directed this film. Egon yeah. from Ghostbusters. Yeah. He directed all, many other films. Um, um, this one also. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and give this film a B minus. Yeah, I enjoyed the film. I'm giving it a C. I liked it quite a bit. I kind of wish I could have seen the, um, the 1967, Seven, 69 yeah. uh, version, but I liked it, but it's, 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 a, it's a comedy. So, you know, whatever your mileage is for comedy, it's, I bet you people will either really love this film or really hate it. I bet you there's not a lot, a lot in, in the middle. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's very, it's very subjective, but I could see why people really like this film. So let's get Brandon Fraser back on the screen, doing he's more back. comedies. What else is he doing? He's, he's doing drama now. He's, he's, he was, he yeah. was in, we, we, we reviewed one of his movies that he was in. I was, know the, the No Sudden Move. But yeah. That's... And, and he's, there's a lot of Oscar talk around his latest film that's not out yet, where he gained a bunch of weight. I can't remember what it's called, but yeah, he's back. But it seems like he's, he's doing drama now. I need to give you some comedy. I want some bread and fresh comedy. Give, <laughs> okay. give me some of the mummy. I want some of the mummy. All right. <laughs> That's like uh, action comedy. Yeah. Like, yeah. Give me some of that. <laughs> <laughs> what was that face? Remember he he yelled at the, the mummy oh, when the okay. mummy yelled at him? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm stupid like that. So. <laughs> <laughs> but I gave this film a B minus. I really enjoyed it with the nostalgia and everything with it. But uh, Devin gave this film a uh, C. Do you recommend people see it? I do. I liked it. It's a good movie. That is our review for Bedazzled. Bedazzled. Nobody gets it totally right right away. That's why you get seven wishes. Hey, thank you for clicking on this video, man. It really means a lot to us. Go ahead and help us out and hit that subscribe button right down there. All right? It really does help us out, man. It really does. We mm -hmm. love you guys for it. And uh, if you liked our uh, review for Bedazzled, hit that thumbs up does help out the channel or you can hit the thumbs down whichever one you you want it's your opinion you can do it <laughs> but just remember one thing it's mostly wrong see you in another video peace